Today's topic is going to be an introduction to how to use the cam editor in blend mode. Hi, I am Micah Studeman. Cam editor is a feature of Motionworks IC3 which simplifies the implementation of electronic camming in the controller. Cam editor makes it easy to create CSV cam tables, generate dynamically changing cam profiles, create cam blend profiles, and export motion profiles to Sigma Select. In this video, we are going to look at the cam editor features that support cam blend. Here's a quick preview. To enter blend mode, you need to press the blend mode button. This allows the ramp in, running, and ramp out cam profiles to be created. These profiles can then be sent to the controller either as three CSV files or as three cam segment structures via structured text code. Once initialization code is added, then the cam profiles can be run using the cam blend function block. Let's start with an overview of the purpose of cam blend. Cam blend is a function block in Yaskawa's cam toolbox that allows three cam profiles to be linked together. Here is a demo that simulates a rotary knife that can be used to explain this function. The pulley on the upper right is the cam master, where the white wheel is the cam slave. For all examples to follow, I will consider the black arrow to be a knife, and the belt to be a web or film that is being cut by the knife. When using the cam in and out function blocks, the knife forcefully engages when the master is already running. This could cause excessive machine wear. When the cam blend function block is used, the knife smoothly engages and disengages to the running master. One main application that uses cam blend is a rotary knife. Cam blend is made up of three different profiles. The first profile is the ramp in profile. This accelerates the slave from standstill up to the desired running speed over one master cycle. The second profile is the running profile. This is where the slave is synchronized with the master position. The third and last profile is the ramp out profile. This profile brings the slave out of synchronization to a stop over one master cycle. To explain cam blend, I will use a rotary knife application. For this profile, the knife circumference is 10 inches. The knife needs to be in sync with the master when it is at an 18 degree angle to the webbing. This corresponds to a distance of 0.5 inches of the master cycle. It is advantageous to set the master cycle also to 10 inches. These angles and distances are important for setting up the ramp in and ramp out profiles. This rotary knife will produce 10 inch pieces of product. Inside the code, I have three sets of cam generator and cam struct select function blocks for the three cam profiles. To put cam editor into blend mode, just press the blend mode button and accept the warnings. I will start with the running cam profile. The running cam needs to be synchronized with the master. This means that as the master moves one cycle from zero to 10 inches, the knife will move from 0 to 360 degrees. I also will set the cam segment struct variable to the variable that is attached to the cam generator function block in the application code. This needs to match exactly, otherwise the profile will be set to a variable that is not being used. The ramp in cam allows the rotary knife to initially sync the knife blade with the master. This means that when the master passes the cam endpoint, the slave will smoothly accelerate to synchronize with the master before the knife comes into contact with the material. This happens when the slave is at 18 degrees from the cut point, which correlates to 342 degrees of the slave cycle. Again, I will set the cam segment struct variable to the variable that's attached to the cam generator function block in the application code. The ramp out cam allows the rotary knife to smoothly stop after it has made the final cut. This means that when the slave is at the sink angle of 18 degrees, it will decelerate and stop at 180 degrees. For now, I will leave the cam segment struct name blank so you can see what happens if you forget it. Now that all three cam profiles are created, the combined profile can be seen by going to the view menu and selecting the blended profile selection. You can see the ramp in, running, and ramp out cam position profiles here, along with the speed, torque, and jerk graphs. Now we have to consider how the cam profiles are going to be used. I can either save them off as a CSV file, 
or send them as a CSV file to the controller, or export them as structured text code. Since I have implemented CAM generator instead of CAM file select in this program, I'm going to export the CAM files as structured text. Since we did not define the ramp out CAM segment struct variable earlier, we have to choose a name for the variable now. Looking at the CAM generator, I refer to the CAM segment struct as G underscore CAM ramp out. So that is what I am going to use. From here, the structure text code can be copied into the initialization POU that runs in the slow task. As you can see in the comments, you need to make sure that the CAM segment struct variables are defined in the project. The easiest way to do this is to select each CAM segment struct variable individually, press F5, check that the data type is set to CAM segment struct, check that the variable is global, and press OK. These function blocks create the CAM IDs for the CAM blend structure. Now the changes can be downloaded to the controller. I have the master jogging and the CAM generators have produced the CAM IDs for the CAM blend function block. When I toggle the execute ramp in input, the CAM blend function block runs the ramp in CAM, which smoothly engages the knife and then transitions to the running CAM, which cuts the 10 inch parts. When I toggle the execute ramp out input, the CAM blend function block transitions from the running CAM to the ramp out CAM, which smoothly disengages the knife and stops it at 180 degrees. Currently, the rotary knife only cuts 10 inch pieces, but if you wanted it to cut on random marks, you could add cam shifting, latching, and buffering. Sign up for the Advanced Programming Rotary Knife Workshop for hands on experience to solve an application like this. To see other features that have been included in the cam editor, please view the other cam editor videos. Thanks for watching this video. Go to yaskawa.com slash IECSW to download the latest version of Moshworks IC3 and try out these features yourself with the 30-day demo.